Okay, now it's time to put the heatsink back onto the uh, board and basically reassemble the entire PS3. Um, the the way that the heatsink works on the PS3 is, is kind of silly because you can't actually access it. It has to be um, you need to apply the thermal compound onto the uh, CPU and then you don't actually have a lot of access to it like you would on a uh, computer for example and uh... people might wonder like how much uh... of the thermal compound to put on the manufacturer of the thermal compound ceramic 2 um... suggests uh... point zero zero three inches of coverage on it so like let's say for example 0.003 you would need 550 milligrams to make a circle about like this and uh, that circle will enclose the larger of the two chips which is uh, 42 millimeters squared so when you put a dab of uh, thermal grease on the uh, top of the chip it'll squeeze out in a you know in a circle so I'm going to squeeze it's not going to know where the corners are it's just going to squeeze out in a circle so whatever extra is going to you know it's going to be on the side of the chip it's not going to you know go between the CPU or the, uh, the chip and the uh, heat sink it'll just be wasted but that's necessary to get the compound all the way to these corners Okay, so here's the um, heat sinks. Nice and clean already. And make sure they're dust free. this immediately with a piece of paper. Set this aside. Okay. These are the chips themselves. One's the um, processor and the other is the graphics chip. And I'll clean these again. Basically just remove the desk. That's 532 milligrams. I'm going to try to make a, a better P this time. P shape. Okay, so each one of these has uh, 530 milligrams. It's about a centimeter, roughly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align the uh, 
these ports in the back. This one's right over here. I'm going to line these with the holes. Now it's time to mount the uh, the heat sink back on. Okay, in my earlier video, like what I did is I, you know, I had the uh, the screws go in exactly uh, the the same place, and I also counted uh, how many turns, so I can make sure that it's going on exactly like how it's supposed to be. I'm putting these in a little bit short for right now so I can get them all at least partially in before I start actually tightening tightening them down permanently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now for the uh, final tightening. Eleven. Eleven. Nine, ten, and a half is nine, ten, and a half. That's eleven point two. I'll do the final tightening on this. Okay, I'm going to go back to the first one. Let's tighten it a little bit more. 